One of the most important aspects in the context of downstream oil and gas activities is without a doubt developing and improving the processes of transforming, separating and purifying gas and liquids. Rajmani Krishna, born in Mumbai in 1946, a professor at the University of Amsterdam and prominent scientist at the Van Hoff Institute for Molecular Sciences, has focused his attention on resolving the very problem posed by these activities. He is the winner of the 2013 ENI Award, New Frontiers of Hydrocarbons in the Downstream section. Krishna's research concentrates on understanding the fundamental chemical-physical phenomena that occur on a molecular and microscopic level. Considered as determining factors for the development and improvement of catalytic and separation processes. He pioneered the development of rigorous models for multi-component diffusion in gas, liquids and porous systems. This approach was so groundbreaking that in 1997 he received the AXO Nobel Science Award. He has developed rigorous theories and defined procedures which today are an industrial reference point for the development and design of complex apparatus for separation processes. Professor Krishna was the first to perceive the possibility of extending the drug discovery approach to the inorganic field, an approach already widely used in the pharmaceutical industry. By combining mechanical tools and molecular dynamics with quantum mechanics calculations, he has been able to simulate the adsorption and separation properties of crystalline porous solids for gas and liquid mixtures, identifying the most suitable ones and thereby reducing the long and costly activity of experimental screening. The result? He has identified the most promising materials to use in purification processes for hydrogen and natural gas, for capturing carbon dioxide from waste gases, for separating alkanes and alkenes, a very important process for the polymers industry, and individual isomers of light hydrofuels such as pentane, hexane and heptane from mixtures, an important process for formulating petrol with a higher octane number. The benefits of this research are considerable. These approaches make it possible to significantly reduce the time needed to develop a new technology and quickly create innovative processes with meaningful economic and environmental benefits in comparison to existing technologies.